What it means when a narcissist says I love you. Dear codependent partner. What I'm about to say is not something I'd ever say or admit, to you, because to do so would in the winner takes all game that is my main source of pleasure in life, one that effectively keeps you carrying my load in our relationship. And that's the whole point. When I say I love you I mean that I love how hard you work to make me feel like you're everything, that I am the focus of your life, that you want me to be happy, and that I'll never be expected to do the same. I love the power I have to take advantage of your kindness and intentions to be nice, and the pleasure I derive when I make myself feel huge in comparison to you, taking every opportunity to make you feel small and insignificant. I love the feeling it gives me thinking of you as weak, vulnerable, emotionally fluffy, and I love looking down on you for your childlike innocence and gullibility, as weakness. I love the way I feel knowing that, through the use of gaslighting, what you want to discuss or address will never happen, and I love this power to train you to feel crazy for even asking or bringing up issues that don't interest me, effectively, ever lowering your expectations of me and what I'm capable of giving you, while I up mine of you. I love how easy it is to keep your sole focus on alleviating my pain, never yours, and that, regardless what you do, you'll never make me feel good enough, loved enough, respected enough, appreciated enough, and so on. It's not about the closeness, empathy, emotional connection you want, or what I did that hurt or embarrassed you, or how little time I spend engaged with you or the children, and so on. It's about my status and doing my job to keep you in your place, in pain, blocking you from feeling valued in relation to me. I'm superior and entitled to all the pleasure, admiration, and comforting between us, remember? I love you means I love the way I feel when you are with me, more specifically, regarding you as a piece of property I own, my possession. Like driving a hot car, I love the extent to which you enhance my status in the eyes of others, letting them know that I'm top dog, and so on. I love thinking others are jealous of my possessions. I love the power I have to keep you working hard to prove your love and devotion, wondering what else you need to do to prove your loyalty. I love that you are there to blame whenever I feel this neediness, feeling scorn for you seems to protect me from something I hate to admit, that I feel totally dependent on you to feed my sense of superiority and entitlement, and to keep my illusion of power alive in my mind. Nothing makes me feel more fragile and vulnerable than not having control over something that would tarnish my image and superior status, such as when you question how I treat you as if you still don't understand that getting you to accept yourself as an object for my pleasure, happy regardless of how I treat you, or the children, is key proof of my superiority, to the world. You're my possession, remember? It's my job to teach you to hate and act callous toward those crazy things that only weak people need, such as closeness and emotional stuff. It makes me light up with pleasure, more proof of my superiority, that I can easily get you flustered, make you act crazy over not getting what you want from me, make you repeat yourself, and say and do things that you'll later hate yourself for, because of your niceness. Everything you say, any hurts or complaints you share, you can be sure, I'll taunt you with later, to keep you ever spinning your wheels, ever trying to explain yourself, ever doubting yourself and confused, trying to figure out why I don't get it. There's nothing to get. To break the code, you'd have to look through my lens not yours. It's my job to show complete disinterest in your emotional needs, hurts, wants, and to train, dismiss and punish accordingly, until you learn your lesson, that is, to take your place as a voiceless object, a possession has no desire except to serve my pleasure and comfort, and never an opinion on how it's treated. That you can't figure this out, after all the ways I've mistreated you, to me, is proof of my genetic superiority. In my playbook, those with superior genes are never kind, except to lure and snare their victims. I love that I can make you feel insecure at the drop of a hat, especially by giving attention to other women, perhaps also others in general, friends, family members, children, etc., the list is endless. What power this gives me to put a display of what you don't get from me, to taunt and make you beg for what I easily give to others, wondering why it's so easy to give what you want to others to express feelings or affection, to give compliments, that is, 
when it serves my pleasure, in this case, to watch you squirm. I love the power I have to get you back whenever you threaten to leave, by throwing a few crumbs your way, and watching how quickly I can talk you into trusting me when I turn on the charm, deceiving you into thinking, this time, I'll change. I love you means I need you because, I need someone who won't abandon me that I can use as a punching bag, to make myself feel good by making them feel bad about themselves. This is how I pleasure myself. I hate any signs of weakness in me, which is why I hate you, and all the nice weaklings I view as inferior, stupid, feeble, and so on. I love you means that I love fixing and shaping your thoughts and beliefs, being in control of your mind, so that you think of me as your miracle and savior, a source of life and sustenance you depend on, and bouncing back to, like gravity, no matter how high you try to fly away or jump. I love that this makes me feel like a god, to keep you so focused, obsessed, with making me feel worshipped and adored, sacrificing everything for me to prove yourself so that I don't condemn or disapprove of you, seeking to please none other, and inherently, with sole rights to administer rewards and punishments as I please. I love how I can use my power to keep you down, doubting and second-guessing yourself, questioning your sanity, obsessed with explaining yourself to me and others, professing your loyalty, wondering what's wrong with you, instead of realizing that, you cannot make someone happy who derives their sense of power and pleasure from feeling scorn for the weaklings who let me take advantage of them, like you. I love you means I love the way I feel when I see myself through your admiring eyes, that you're my feel-good drug, my dedicated audience, my biggest fan and admirer, and so on. Training you to look up to me, never question me and bow down with pleasure to serve me as your never-erring, omniscient, omnipotent source of knowledge is my end goal, my drug of choice. You may have noticed how touchy I am at any sign that you would question me, I hate how fragile I feel in such moments, worried that failing to train you in silent submission could tarnish my image in the world, something I care about more than anything else, even life itself. And I love that. No matter how hard you beg and plead for my love and admiration, to feel valued in return, it won't happen, as long as I'm in control. Why would I let it, when I'm hooked on deriving pleasure from depriving you of anything that would make you feel worthwhile, be wind beneath your wings, risking you'd fly away from me? Besides, it gives me great pleasure to not give you what you yearn for, the tenderness you need and want, and to burst your every dream and bubble, then telling myself, you are a fool. I love that I can control your attempts to get through to me, by controlling your mind, in particular, by shifting the focus of any discussion onto what is wrong with you, your failure to appreciate and make me feel loved, good enough, etc. And of course, reminding you of all I've done for you, and how ungrateful you are. I love how skillfully I manipulate others' opinions of you as well, getting them to side with me as the good guy, and side against you as the bad guy portraying you as incapable of making me happy or manly, or as needy, never satisfied, always complaining, selfish and controlling, and the like. I love how easy it is for me to say no, to what may give you credit, or increase your sense of value and significance in relation to me, with endless excuses, and that instead, I return your focus to my unfulfilled needs and wants. I love feeling that I own your thoughts, your ambitions and ensuring the only wants and needs you focus on are ones that serve my pleasure and comfort. I love being a drug of choice you have to have, regardless of how I mistreat you, despite all the signs that your addiction to me is draining the energy from your life, and that you are at risk of losing more and more of what you most value and hold dear, to include those you move love and love and support you in return. I love that I can isolate you from others who may nourish you and break the spell of thinking they ever loved you, I love making you mistrust them, so that you conclude no one else really wants to put up with you, but me. I love that I can make you feel I'm doing you a favor by being with you and throwing a few crumbs your way. Like a vacuum, the emptiness inside me is in constant need of sucking the life and breath and vitality you, and your determination to be kind, brings to my life, which I crave like a drug that can never satisfy, that I fight to hoard and hate the thought of sharing. While I hate you and my addiction to your caring attention, 
my neediness keeps me craving to see myself through your caring eyes, ever ready to admire, adore, forgive, make excuses for me, and fall for my lies and traps. I could never appreciate or value you for this, how could I? I love that you keep telling me how much I hurt you, not knowing that, to me, this is like a free marketing report. It lets me know how effective my tactics have been to keep you in pain, focused on alleviating my pain, so that I am ever the winner in this competition, ensuring that you never weaken, control, me with your love and emotional closeness stuff. In short, when I say I love you, I love the power I have to remain a mystery that you'll never solve because of what you do not know, and refuse to believe, that, the only one who can win this zero-sum winner takes all game is the one who knows the rules. My sense of power rests on ensuring you never succeed at persuading me to join you in creating a mutually kind relationship because, in my worldview, being vulnerable, emotionally expressive, kind, caring, empathetic, innocent are signs of weakness, proof of inferiority. Thanks, but no thanks, I'm resolved to stay on my winner takes all ground, ever in competition for the prize, seeing you as my fiercest enemy. Gloating in my narcissistic ability to be heartless, callous, cold, calculating, and proud, to ensure my neediness for a sense of superiority isn't hampered. Forever love limiting. Your narcissist.